One day after pulling the express, Alfred was called to the yard. Hmm, I wonder why that madcap person has called me here, wasting my time. I need to do so much of work. After some time, Alfred's madcap person, or we can say, Sir Edward Jr. came. Alfred, after some time, the new engineers will be arriving. So saying, Mr. Crack went on. Alfred waited patiently for the engines to come, and at last they came. Hello, we have arrived. How are you? I am fine. I am Alfred. But before they could get on with the conversation, the diesels or the villains, we can say, came. Who are these people and why have they come here? Regard me with respect, you dogs, and give us space to sleep in the shed. Pardon me, but that's not a very good way to speak. And these are not supposed to sleep in the shed. Hello, Alfred. Who are these jokers and what are they doing near our sheds? And what do you want? As the diesels. Excuse me, but we stay here. Yes, it is true. All the diesels must go and stay in the white leaf sheds. Okay, okay, we're going. The diesels disappeared. Hello, Alfred. How are you? Oh, you both are back. I'm so happy. Hey, you two. Come here. I want to talk to you. Yeah, here we've come. Now, where are we to go? Hey, you diesel, good or bad, you must go and sleep at the white leaf sheds. So the new diesel went up and all the steam engines went inside the sheds. The new engine, Stanley, had to pull a train the next day. Wilbert came to greet him. Hi Stanley, go slowly and carefully. Bye. What's ahead? The line ahead was long drive and couple the coaches. The coaches were uncomfortable, but Stanley kept on going ahead. The strangest part was that when he reached the buffers, he disappeared. <laughs> 